Good morning, judges, investors. We are very excited to introduce our new product, Protea, to you guys today. Our goal is to introduce a flavorful, unique, and nutritional emergency meal. This is Roy, and he's a Berkeley student in the Industrial Engineering Operations Research Department. And really, the main issue is that he spends all day studying due to the rigorous course at Berkeley. And really, this leaves him to like, no alternative for healthy meals as they take their time consuming and take up his space. Ultimately, Protee's mission is to make people like Roy, who spend all day studying, and give them the ability to make, to plan for their future, not only by their grades, but also by their long-term health. Now, we ran a survey, and nearly 90% of our respondents said that they miss meals sometimes. These results were resounding to us, and we saw that there was a large untapped market. Despite the amount of meal supplements that were out there, many students still were missing meals and were not able to capitalize on getting the nutrition they needed every single day in their rigorous courses. Now our product is a mixture of matcha, which is a green tea powder we use for flavoring, which we would sub out for other flavors in the future when we expand our brand. We also have oat milk, protein, and konjac jelly, which creates the perfect mixture of nutrition, protein, and calorie sufficiency so that you may have a complete meal. The konjac jelly also adds, it's our secret sauce, it's natural, adds much, much nutrition, and it also adds a sweetness that makes our product flavorful. Now, our product does not need FDA approval, and it is storable. It is not refrigerated or anything, so you can grab it on the go, keep it in your car, and take it anywhere. Our legal structure is a Delaware C Corp, and we are already got the trademarks and everything lined up. Our unit cost would be $4.49, and we'd sell it for $6.99 for a profit margin of 40%. Now, as you can see here, the market as it stands in 2021 is $11.85 billion. And when we plan to tap in the next two years, 2022 and 2023, we would capitalize on the exponential growth that is going to occur in the next years and have major cash back. Now, you might be thinking, wow, I really like this product, but who are we? I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Alva Mobley. I'm accompanied by my team members, Sydney Winger, Dean Grenville, and Ryan Lynn. And something unique about our team is we're from all different majors with all different intended career paths. We're not all business majors, but we came together with our one common factor, the fact that we are all students watching out for other students. But we couldn't have done it without our board of directors, which helped us through general advising, culinary advising, and financial advising and also our legal consultant, Inspire Business Law Group, who helped us with our legal entity. All right, and this is the comparison between convenient food and healthy food and how protein is both of those, but it rules out the negatives. With convenient food, it can you get fast food on the go, but it's very unhealthy for you. It has unknown additives, and for healthy food, it is very time consuming to create a, a nutritious meal, and it's very expensive. And comparison to Jamba Juice and Soylent, which are our biggest competitors here, um, Jamba Juice, as they seem nutritious, they put ice cream in all their smoothies. I was a former employee there, and it really motivated me to create a more healthier, affordable or, or, or alternative. And Soylent is missing the organic and healthy properties as well, but Protea is nutritious, organic, storable, and healthy, which rules out both of those. Now you might be thinking, who is our target audience? Well, there are hard workers, aspiring for wellness, environmentally conscious, and according to our survey, students between the age of 15 and 30 years old. Now, our peer photographed on the right here, it actually fits all of this criteria and sees Protea as a good opportunity to fulfill all her meal needs throughout the day. Now for marketing, we're gonna start off on social media since that's where most of our target audience is um, most of Gen Z is on social media, all sorts of platforms, so we're going to reach them through there. Then we're going to send our flyers to local colleges and um, businesses. Then we're going to create connections with those colleges and businesses in order to create the most efficient business. And the, basically the timeline is that we first try out our product with the end goal in mind to distribute to retailers, basically hitting the supermarkets, the Safeways, and the Whole Foods. But to get that into place, we need to do two things. We need to have an experimental phase where we distribute to not only West Coast colleges and East Coast colleges, which is seen here. Basically, how it goes is that we're gonna start at DVC, expand through the connections that we create with the administrators, which our advisors helped us greatly in, and then move our way 
through word of mouth and networking. With that in mind, we have to talk about some of our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Obviously, we're, our strengths come in the fact that we basically provide the meal, we're the meal replacement that is both convenient and healthy, as Sydney said, and that we're also basically going to go for product expansion as we can alter the cal caloric intake so you can always have a healthy meal no matter like, let's say, you're starving right now or you're not really starving and you need a snack. With that in mind, that's why we see ourselves, see these strengths and opportunities as overcoming our weaknesses and threats because really, that's the goal of us is we're seeing that all of it co-aligns together, meeting one goal in common. With that, we need to talk about our financials. With the fact that we need manufacturing in the first place, it's gonna be a very like rough year one, but as the future progresses, we're gonna see manufacturing and outsourcing costs go down as we have the better infrastructure to grow our business. Ultimately, it's gonna, we're gonna be in the negative and we're not gonna make that much money in the first couple years, but the third year, that's when we get not only the college campuses, but also the retailers all in on the pitch and getting it all the way up. Coming from our unit cost of 449 selling for 699 we also see that our unit cost will go down through the years because of that <coughs> manufacturing and infrastructure that we have. This brings us to our ask, and it's really, in, to put it in simple words, we want $150,000 initial investment for 10% equity. But we, have, we are going to be like getting money through family and friends, and we, will, we are also on the way with you as investors because we know how difficult it may seem to be on like different pages. We're gonna be here with our money, with your money. It's a vision for us together. And we're really open to networking and we're really open to neg negotiation as well. So questions? Thank you. I guess I get to be first. There sure. you go. <laughs> uh, this is, certainly there's a, a, a need for this. I mean, it, we all know it. And it, I was fascinated because you are very clear about who your market was. I'm very clearly not in that market. And I think, I want that. So um, yeah, don't forget the old people. Thank you. Thank you. When you picture this on the shelf, tell me some more about what it looks like. Is it in paper, plastic, glass? How is it man? Tell me some more about the actual product and what it looks like when it's finally out there in the market. Yes, so we had a picture on the first couple of slides. I know if you can go back. Yep. Oh yeah, we can. It's gonna take a so it's gonna be like yeah. this. Literally, uh, I think we were aiming for 16, can you see? 16 ounces. And the idea is that it's just something that you can, because it's not, it, it doesn't need to be a refrigerator. It's not refrigerated requirement. It's not required to be refrigerated. So, you, so it's really like you can take it on the go. So you can just leave it where like you think at your workplace where you think you need like you need to put it on the go. And this is how it's gonna like look as a product. Yeah. My other question. It might be just from ignorance, but what's I didn't know if con konjac jelly was something I should recognize or if it was a proprietary blend that you have created. So konjac jelly is, it comes in this little pouch and we have ordered it from an outside source. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty unknown, which is why I, we think our product mix is so unique. It's, it's sort of like this jelly paste that comes from a konjac plant and it has peach flavoring, the specific one we use for our blend. And it adds, it's very nutritional, but we noticed it also added a sweetness that allowed us to get, it replaced our sweetener. So we had no need to add artificial sugar and we could have a sweet taste, which you guys will have in that drink. I also wanted to add that konjac jelly is like, it's a vegetable, it's literally a vegetable. So all of this is vegan free and really it's for any, it's made for any, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so on that note, um, tell me a little bit about, and I apologize if you mentioned this, but where is production taking place? Like how many, how do you see that going down the actual and, and then I know, I think I understand distributing. Initially, you're thinking about doing a lot of that manually, right? Like just getting it locally put out there. But. So I want to add on, we want, the reason we're asking for $150,000 is for the manufacturing. And currently we have two manufacturers in mind and they're all based in the US and that's really how we're gonna go about it because we're gonna play to our strengths, which is that we're American college, community college students for students by students. And that's how we're gonna get this product out there and, and we're gonna play it for all we got. 
And once the product's out there and it's known and the students start recommending it to a wider circle, of course the product is for the mass majority of our respondents who miss meals. Absolutely anyone can pick it up in a go. Thank you, Alvin Preston. Thank you for, uh, for serving us your, uh, your, your protein. I'm excited to sample it. Um, I, I also have a question just about the product itself. Um, I think you described that it's vegetarian and I'm, and I'm not sure if it's also uh, vegan. So with that in mind, I was wondering what, what is your protein source? It comes from pea protein, which is plant-based protein, instead of whey, which is dairy-based. We're using pea protein, which, yeah, it's plant-based, so it makes the whole drink plant-based, which makes it vegan and vegetarian, since we also use oat milk in our drink instead of just dairy products. We also plan on adjusting for any further dietary restrictions, what little way, leeway we could go for, say, allergies in the future to appeal to a wider range of our market. And while expanding the company, we're also going to expand the flavors. So right now we're starting with the matcha, but we have so many different ideas and different ways to execute different kinds of drinks. Great. Thank you. And it doesn't need to be refrigerated, but it has limited shelf life. Explain why that is. So basically, while it does have, lim like, it doesn't need to be refrigerated, but it does have like a seven to 10 day, because oat milk is not that whole can, or actually, it just needs like, if you open it once, you need to drink it like in seven to 10 days. If it's not open and it's like just there as like completely sealed, untouched, like it could be stored for, cause that's oat milk. Oat milk's really the main concern about it. And, but it's like the same thing. It would be way worse with milk. So that's why we went for this option as well. Try this now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we give you a little sample of filling. Yeah. Yeah.